And then I'll brush and brush and brush and brush my hair. Huh? Where am I? Sammy, have you seen my hairpins? Ah, uh, he probably can hear me. Oh, there it is. Uh-huh, one more. Hop, I knew that. Sammy, I've been calling for you. Oh, madame, you look gorgeous. This hairdo is perfect. My hairpins. Ah, uh, Sammy, what's going on here? Ah, oopsie, I thought you no longer needed them because they were literally all about the house. Oh, you're right. I guess I need a special organizer for my hairpins after all. Let's do it. Oh, it's gonna be a new craft. Hi, guys. Today we're making an amazing and super useful organizer for hairpins and comms. And this little lady here gave me an excellent idea of what our organizer should look like. Hi, Sue. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Maybe. <laughs> Let's make a little mermaid organizer from very thick cardboard. Yay! I was right! At first, we need to draw a silhouette. Let's get started! This is gonna be so much fun, I promise! Make sure to make it big enough, guys, so that it fits all the hair stuff you might want to put in it. <laughs> guys, I'd like to remind you that there are a lot of videos about different organizers on our channel, so go subscribe! And we're done! Now we'll just need to cut the whole thing out. Guys, be very careful with the cutter. It's really sharp. Or you can ask an adult to help you, because this cardboard is pretty thick. I always trust you with this kind of work. She's great at it! Aw, thanks, Sammy. <laughs> now that the silhouette of our mermaid is ready, we can make it look more natural. Let's make your upper part beige, closer to the color of the skin. Hop. <laughs> and turquoise will be just perfect for her tail. Awesome! Exactly. I have some other plans for her tail fin. But we'll get to that in a minute. For now, let's work in some shades. A regular Q-tip will do the trick. We'll simply smudge this line like this. See? How cool is that? Now we'll do the same thing all around her body and face. And that's it! Well, what do you say, Sammy? <laughs> I say it's time to make real an impressive look! So, we drew the mermaid's face, but to make it look awesome, we need to come up with a cool makeup. Let's start with the eyes. It is important to draw them symmetrically, of course. Susie, did you know that there are six main types of eyes in terms of shape? Round, monolid, hooded, downturned, upturned, and almond. I wonder which type I have. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Sammy, your eyes are round, I guess. And mine are probably almond. And which type of eyes this beautiful creature is going to have? Well, we're just about to see that. <laughs> okay, now that we have the nose, we can rightfully say that her eyes are symmetrical. Right, guys? Uh-huh. And they seem to be upturned. But what about their color, Sue? I think it should match the color of the sea. I mean, she's a mermaid after all. <laughs> so we'll go with a beautiful blue. Sammy, since you're an eye expert, do you have any information on the colors of the eyes? Hmm? Well, of course! Ahem. The colored part of the eye is called the iris. It can be of different shades of blue, green, brown, or even black. Although, once I met a couple of cute white bunnies with red eyes! Have you seen those guys? Give a thumbs up if so! <laughs> and we're done with the blue. Now it's time for white. Me, these kinds of eyelashes won't do. We're just gonna draw them on later. But first, let's use the darker color to draw the upper eyelid. Like this. And here come the actual eyelashes. Mm hmm. Like this. Don't forget about her lips, too, Susie. This color will be just perfect. Oh, you're right, Sammy. This pale pink is very beautiful and mermaidish. <laughs> This actually gave me an idea about her hair! Stay tuned, guys! The most creative part is yet to come! Guys, it's time to deal with our mermaid's tail. It'll have several layers. We've already glued the craft foam layer, and we'll have this pretty piece on top. Actually, it's very easy to make. Sam is doing it right now, making the side fins. Sue, I need help! I cut the fin out of plastic and covered it with nail polish, but what's next? You need to add a pattern with a marker. Here, let me do it. Don't 
worry, Sammy. I'll explain that. We're about to make one pretty big pocket. But first, we need to finish with the fence. Huh? But you've already finished! Yes and no. Now we need to attach them to the tail. Here comes the first one. There you go. And another one. Great. And now we'll take one more piece of foam paper to make the pocket I was talking about earlier. It's important to not glue this part right here. Oh, now I see! We can put, say, a hairbrush through this opening! Awesome! Exactly! But, so you're not gonna just leave it like this, are you? Of course not! It's time to work on the details. We'll need some felt. I'm gonna use some magic right now, guys, so watch closely! Bibbidi bobbidi subscribity! Whoa! Guys, did you see that? She just made the fish scales! Yep, I did! <laughs> Now we need to glue these all around our mermaid's tail. Let's start from the bottom. We need to glue the scales with an overlap to make them look as natural as possible. Guys, we've already made quite a few different mermaids. You know where to find those videos! <laughs> we'll also use some shiny details to make the tails sparkle beautifully. This work for me is kind of meditative. Even though I must admit it's quite time consuming. <laughs> but you may want to ask your friends or parents to help you. Creating together is always fun. <laughs> Am I right, Sammy? Um, Sammy? <gasps> yes, you! And I actually have an idea! Be right back! <laughs> I wonder what this little slime has in mind. Yours. I'm here, Sue! Make way! <sighs> All this goes here. Uh-huh. Everything is ready! You can check it out! <gasps> wow! It turned out wonderful, Sammy! Just look at those feather light scales, guys! I love it! Let's just add one tiny detail. These beads look like magical pearls, don't they? Done! <laughs> now we'll make her top just like we did her tail. Whoosh! And let's move to the final step, her hair. Whoa! What's happening? Ah, Sue! <laughs> Nothing special. I'm just beginning to work on our mermaid's hairdo. This will be the front part. Let's make a tie. Like this one. And cut the extra. Be careful with the scissors, guys. Now we can glue this whole thing to the head. Like this. And now let's shape the hairdo this way so that her cute little face stays open. Wow, I really like how her hair matches her tail and everything! You bet, Sammy. <laughs> Sissy, this is the prettiest organizer that we've made! I totally agree with you. There's only a couple of final touches left. Do you mean these fish friends? That's right! Let's glue them! Hop! <laughs> and our little mermaid is done! Not exactly! Here are all your hair accessories! Let's put them in their new places! Oh, she is perfect! Now all my hairpins are going to be stored in one place! And no one will steal them! <laughs> Thank you for being with us today, guys! Browse our channel for more cool videos and don't forget to give a thumbs up on this one! It was nice seeing you boys and girls!